Hello, I'm IBX Taker, and today I have two bits of information slash news relating to Minecraft uh, for the Xbox. Uh, so first of all, uh, Minecraft Xbox One is something we've been waiting for confirmation either way on because Microsoft haven't said anything about it, 4J haven't said anything about it, Mojang haven't said anything about it, and I have a bit of uh, news that sort of hints it towards one way, uh, and specifically the way that we'll probably be getting it for the Xbox One because. Um, Computer and video games .com have reported, uh, they're a reliable site if you don't know, the report and obviously computer and video games. Um, <laughs> but basically they, uh, they've confirmed that Microsoft have come up with a statement saying that uh, Xbox Live Arcade games for the 360 will not work on the Xbox One. And uh, basically what this means for us is that you, all the old games aren't going to work, and that includes Minecraft. So if, if they didn't intend to put Minecraft on the Xbox One, that would mean that their old console has one of the titans of gaming. Uh, Minecraft is on all three platforms it's selling on, you know, uh, iOS as in uh, mobile, sorry, um, Xbox, and on PC, it's in the top five selling games on all three platforms. That's a ridiculous feat, that's literally, it makes it one of the ridiculous titans of gaming. It's iconic in so many ways, and uh, so many people buy an Xbox probably just to play Minecraft. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous, basically, is what I'm trying to say. They wouldn't just leave it on their old console and be like, you know that one of the best games of all time, or at least one of the best selling games of all time? Yeah, that's on our old console, but try and buy our new one. It's only £400, whereas our old one's like 50 And it's like, I don't think they're going to even get away of trying to sell that. So they're gonna, I think what they're going to announce uh, at E3, hopefully, rather than later, uh, is that they're going to be releasing a feature-filled version for the Xbox One that will maybe be better than PC. They'll say something along those lines. I don't know exactly how that works. Or the cross... Um, or what happened is because the... Uh, you know, the license which made it exclusive to Xbox might have run out by then because it was only for the 360. Uh, it might go cross platform, and that means we'll get like competitive between the platforms, maybe. I'd like to see that personally, but I'm not sure that's how it works. But it'd be interesting to see. Uh, so, either way, I think Xbox One will be getting uh, Minecraft. I'd like it if it went cross platform, but I highly doubt Microsoft's going to let one of their best, uh, biggest selling franchises go. It's the fifth best selling game on their console, so I, I highly doubt that's going to happen, but we can, we can hope and pray. So, the second thing we have is uh, relating to Minecraft Retail Edition. Uh, for the Xbox 360, sorry. Uh, that is coming out in June the 4th for the US, and it's coming out, in, I think, June the 28th for the UK. Uh, you can pre-order it now on Amazon, or you can just buy it when it comes out on Amazon using the links in the description, which I'll put there now. Uh, I would recommend doing it, because I'm buying it just... I think having a retail edition of the game would just be... Well, I just got a disc edition, sorry. I think that just means so much more. Like, that means... Even if you lose your account or something, you still have the game. You can, you know, put the game in your collection. I think you just... Uh, with a game like Minecraft, which I put literally, I want to say, hundreds if not thousands of hours into, I think having a disc edition is something I really want to have. It's sort of like a collector's edition of a regular game, except this is actually just owning a disc of the game. Uh, plus, there's some advantages to having it on a disc format as well, so I, I, I'd recommend buying it myself, but I'm just myself. I really enjoy the game, that's why I have a YouTube channel based around it. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend you buy it using links in the description. Also, the articles are in the description. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, let's go to the outro now. <laughs>